Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is interval list intersections. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview questions on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, given two lists of closed intervals, each list of intervals is pairwise disjoint and in a sorted order. Return the intersection of these two interval lists. And we are given with example. And if you look at example, we are given with A and B. And we need to return the intersection. And we can clearly see the intersection between A and B. So these are the points of intersections. So let's move on to pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. I have taken the example given in the question. And this question is similar to the question we have done before on this channel. And you can find the link of the question in the description below. And this question is asking that we need to return the intersection of these two intervals. And the intervals are A and B. And if we look at bar chart to understand how the intersection of interval is working, then this represents A and this represents B. And this represents our output. And we can clearly see that intersection of A and B for the first elements are this part. And we can clearly see how we are getting there. So intersection of these two points will be equal to 1 and 2. And how we are getting 1 and 2? 1 is the maximum of starting point you can see one we have a starting point here and one we have a starting point here and so the starting point is maximum of starting of a and b and if we talk about the ending point this is minimum of ending of a and b you can clearly see A ends here, B ends here. So you can say the ending of our interval is minimum of ending of A and B. So now we got our first interval. And to get all the intervals, I need to spam both of the list A and B. And for that, I need to increase the pointer in A and B. But if you see that a is starting here before B ends. That means we also consider it as a interval. And which also means I just can't increase the pointer in both of the array at the same time. Because what if I was first here at 0 and 0. After getting my first interval, what if I have moved to 1 and 1. Then I would have missed this part. And my answer have been. 8 and 10 and I have missed this part which is 5 and 5 so how to check which one to move whether I have to move in A or we have to move in B so for that I will compare the ending part of each element and if ending element of A is greater than ending element of P. These are given with every single element I am talking about. In this case, I will increase the pointer of P. Else, if the ending part of A is less than ending part of B, in that case, I will increase pointer of A. And let's see this thing in the second interval. So if I come here I'm done with my first interval now I will compare ending element of A and ending element of B and I found that ending element of B is greater than ending element of A that means I will going to increase the pointer in A and I will come here but I will not going to increase the pointer in B so I will still remain 
here. Now again, I will implement this part that the starting point of the interval will be the maximum of starting point of A and B. So our A is this, which is maximum of 5 and 1. So maximum is 5. Okay. So we got 5. And the ending point of the interval will be minimum of ending point of A and ending point of B. And the minimum of ending point of A and ending point of B is 5. And so in this way, we will get our second interval, which is 5 and 5, which represent this part. Okay. Now again, we have the question in which part we have to increase the pointer. Again, we will compare the ending point of A and B. So we have A here and we have B here. So I will compare the ending part of A, which is 10, and the ending part of B, which is 5. And if ending part of A is greater than ending part of B, I will increase the pointer in B. So now I will come here and I will remain here in A. So now again, I will use this part to get my interval. So the starting point of the interval will be maximum of A and B. Maximum A and B is 8. And the ending point of the interval will be minimum of A and B, which is 10. And this is our third interval. Now again to increase the pointer, I will compare the ending point of A and B. And ending point of A is 10 and ending point of B is 12. And ending point of A is not greater than ending point of B. That means I will increase the pointer of A. So now my a will come here. Now again, to get the interval, I will implement this thing. So the starting point of the interval will be the maximum of starting point of a and b. Maximum of a and b is 13. And the ending point will be the minimum of ending of a and b. And the minimum is 12. And now we are facing a weird thing that how can a starting point can be greater than the ending point if this is the case this is not an interval so if starting point is not less than equal to the ending point i will not going to append it my interval so let me write it down here if starting is less than equal to ending then only we are going to append it in intervals so so we will not going to append it in the interval but again to increase the pointer we will use ending point of a and ending point of b ending point of a is 23 and ending point of B is 12. Ending point of A is greater than ending point of B. So I will increase the pointer in B. So again, the starting point of the interval will be the maximum of A and B, which is 15. And the ending point of interval will be minimum of A and B, which is 23. Now again, I will append it to my intervals 15, 23 which is here. So now again to check which pointer to increase, I will compare the ending point of A and ending point of B. And if the ending point of A is less than ending point of B, that means I will going to increase the pointer in A. And ending point of A is 23 and ending point of B is 24. So I will increase the pointer in A. So now again, the starting point of interval will be the maximum of starting of A and B. The maximum of starting of A and B is 24. And the ending will be the minimum of ending of A and B. Now the minimum is also 24. So again, we got our fifth interval, which is 24 and 24, which is our this part. So again, to check the pointer, I will compare the ending point of A and B. And 
Now ending point of A is greater than ending point of B. That means we will going to increase the pointer in B. So my pointer will come here. Now again to get the interval. So now the starting point of the interval will be the maximum of starting point of A and B. And the maximum between 24 and 25 is 25. So the starting point of my interval will be 25. And ending will be minimum of ending of A and B. And ending of A and B is 25 and 26. And minimum of them is 25. So I will take 25. And this will serve as the last interval. Which represent this part. So what are the key things we have to take from here. First. To get the interval, I will use this part that the starting point will be the maximum starting point of A and B and the ending part will be minimum of ending of A and B. And we will only going to append in the interval if the starting point is less than the ending point. And to check the pointer, I will use this part that if the ending point of A is greater than ending point of B, in that case I will increase the pointer in B else I will going to increase the pointer in A. Or you can say if the ending point of A is less than the ending point of B, in that case I will going to increase the pointer in A, else I will going to increase the pointer in B. Or you can say whosoever have the smaller ending point, I will increase the pointer in that. So let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem. So let's see the code. At line number 3 and at line number 4, I have pointer A and B which is equal to 0 and I have taken interval which is an empty list in which I will store my intervals and I am taking a while loop while a is less than length of a and b is less than length of given list b and I am defining my interval of starting and interval of ending and the starting part will be equal to maximum of starting of a and b and the ending of interval will be equal to minimum of ending of a and b and we will going to append the starting and ending point in the intervals only if if the starting point of the interval is less than equal to ending point of interval and to increase the pointer we will check the ending point of a and p and if the ending point of a is less than the ending point of p in that case i will increase the pointer in a else i will going to increase the pointer in p and at the end i will simply return the interval so this is the code. Let's see whether it works or not. So here I submitted my code. And it got accepted. So this was the solution for this problem. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe.